When using a flight director and autopilot like on the Garmin G1000, it can be very helpful to program in an instrument departure to follow to free you up for other tasks after takeoff. We're holding short of runway 3 at Scottsdale on an uncharacteristically cloudy day in Arizona. We'll be departing IFR using the Maricopa 1 obstacle departure procedure. The takeoff minimums for runway 3 show a minimum climb gradient of 440 feet per nautical mile through 4,000 feet. We'll be monitoring our climb gradient using ForeFlight with the field on the bottom right. The procedure involves runway heading to 400 feet above the departure end of the runway, then a left turn to 220, from where we'll intercept the 321 radial inbound to the Phoenix VOR. We'll continue on course from there to our destination, Marana Regional in Tucson, towards the south. Let's load the flight plan into the FMS on the G1000. We'll push FPL on the side bezel of the MFD. Then we'll push the FMS knob in to bring up the cursor. We'll scroll down one using the outer knob of the FMS dial. Then turn the inner knob once to bring up the input. We'll put in our departure airport, KSDL. We're using the keyboard here in the sim, but you'd use the knobs to enter this if your FMS doesn't have a keyboard. Next we want to set up the departure. We'll push the PROC soft key, then the outer knob to go down to select departure, then hit enter. We'll use the outer knob to scroll down to the Maricopa 1. The code for that is MRRIC1 as shown on the departure plate. Hitting enter, we're asked which runway we're using, which is 3. We see the sequence of fixes. Notice the first one after the runway is 1,910 feet. This corresponds to 400 feet above the departure end of the runway, where we maintain runway heading until that altitude, then start our left turn to 220. The intercept fix is where we join the radial inbound of the Phoenix VOR. We'll use the outer knob to scroll to load and hit enter. We'll be joining an airway from the VOR, so we go to the enroute portion of the flight plan, hit menu, then enter to load airway. We twist the inner FMS knob to pull up the airway list, then scroll to Victor 16 and hit enter. We need to specify where we're leaving the airway. We twist the inner knob to pull up the fixes, then scroll to our exit, which is Pickley. Finally, we input our destination airport, KAVQ, Marana. With our flight plan loaded, we could begin setting up our flight director and autopilot. Our cleared altitude is 7000, so we twist the outer knob of the ALT dial to set 7000 as the bugged altitude above the altitude tape on the PFD. We're going to push FLC to set our climb attitude. This will tell the flight director, that pink triangle, where to position itself for the climb. We're going to climb at VX in order to make the required climb gradient, so we'll push the nose down soft key to bug the climb speed of 62 knots. If this is a bit slow and you feel uneasy about being nearly behind the power curve on a climb in IMC, you could climb at VY as long as you ensure that you could still make the required climb gradient. Now, since we've programmed the departure into the GPS, we could push the nav soft key and GPS mode will load onto the flight director. The departure procedure uses a VOR for guidance. We'd like to track that in addition to the GPS. Normally, we'd set the VOR into nav 1, frequency 115.6, and flip it active, then push the CDI soft key to bring up the green needles of the VOR. It's the 321 radial we'll be tracking inbound, so we set the reciprocal of that for the inbound course by twisting the CRS knob to the right of the PFD. We could certainly do that, but we won't be able to use the flight director and autopilot for the departure until we actually intercept the radial. It'll be better to stick with the pink needles of the GPS to track the entire procedure. Instead, let's push PFD options on the bottom bar, then bearing 1. This brings up a thin arrow on the HSI which points directly to the VOR. The tail of the VOR indicates which radial we're on. Currently we're on about the 360 radial. We want to turn inbound to the VOR when we're on the 321 radial, so we'll be looking for when that tail moves over to that heading. We can also push DME to get a DME readout for the station. Notice GPS mode isn't active on the flight director. We're in roll hold mode because we're not quite on the GPS course. We'll set our runway heading and push heading mode, but when we roll onto the runway, we should expect to see GPS mode go active. Notice the pink triangle of the flight director is indicating a left turn now to that bugged heading. So we've got the flight director set up for the departure and could get started. It's a good practice to maintain a minimum altitude at which to engage the autopilot. We'll use 800 feet AGL. Up to that point, we'll be following the flight director. 
It'll give us a straight out climb at a pitch attitude that corresponds to our bugged 62 knot speed. When reaching 1,910 MSL, 400 feet above the departure end of the runway, we'll be given a left turn to 220, which we can follow with the flight director. Going through 800 AGL, we'll get ready to engage the autopilot. We should expect it to continue to follow the pink flight director. If it does anything other than that, we'll be ready to disengage immediately and continue hand flying. We're monitoring it to maintain our climbing left turn at 62 knots to our new course of 220 degrees. You can notice on the iPad on the lower right that we're maintaining our required climb gradient nicely at this speed. And as we transition through 4,000 feet, we no longer need to be at this higher angle. So we could change our bug speed to VY and maintain at least a 200 foot per nautical mile climb. As we approach the radial, shown with the arrow's tail approaching 321 degrees, we get our turn inbound and we continue on course from here. So there's a quick rundown of setting up the flight director and autopilot for an IFR departure and maintaining safety and situational awareness. If you like our training tips, you'll love our instrument and other ground schools, which you could see on the Flight Insight website, linked here and in the description. Check us out today.